Gaffer, it's only been about four weeks. It's four weeks since we last talked about Morecambe, but do mm. you expect a very different side under Derek Adams compared to what we would have faced under Steve Robinson? Um, probably not too much different. I, I, I think probably because you know Derek hasn't been been back there long. But I think even if they do change, um, you know, in styles or whatever they're doing, I'm sure the Morecambe lads can drop back into it because he was there longer than Stephen was there. So. I'm sure it's a, a pretty seamless swap, really. And you got him up. I seems to have a good relationship with them and with the players who were there. Yeah, why? Why wouldn't he? You know, at the end of the day, I mean, he um, he ended up leaving, went off to another job, and you know, sometimes that happens. You you can go back to clubs, and um, you know, it was a good fit in the first place. So I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be a good fit for them going forward. <clears throat> what are your initial thoughts ahead of the fixture? Well, one we're looking forward to, because obviously after playing so well at the weekend and, and getting beat, really what we want to do is get stuck back into another game. So we've managed to do that um, in our preparation already today and start focusing now on, on Morecambe, which, which has, allows us to leave Oxford behind, if that makes sense. <clears throat> How was this morning's session? Same as always. Yeah. Always good. Never, yeah, they're never a problem. The boys are never a problem. You know, they're good as gold. They train properly. Um, prepare properly for games so there's never any issues with any of that yeah, Fair enough For yourself was yesterday a busy day watching a lot of Morecambe's recent games? Um, well the, the day after a game especially when you've got a quick turnaround it would be busy <clears throat> for all of the staff we would all be looking at Morecambe and, and picking things out so uh, the analysts probably towards the back end of last week once we've finished our video stuff then they would have already jumped on to Morecambe anyway so you know they'll be ahead but obviously you know myself yesterday yeah um, that was definitely occupied with having a look at Morecambe's games yeah and after Saturday how is everybody physically uh, fine yeah. yeah everybody's fine yeah no no issues at all we're fine Speaking to Ryan Bowman after this, mm. how have you seen him develop this season? If we talked about his goal enough at the weekend, but how have you seen him develop over the course of the season? Well, I was pleased for him at the weekend because it's been a while since he scored, um, and you never know what that does to a striker, um, confidence-wise or anything like that. And I think it was it was obviously a relief to him to score at the weekend. Um, <clears throat> but I said to him that you know I felt as always performances even leading up to the game on Saturday I think his performances over the last two or three games have been very very good and sometimes you have to work yourself in credit in these in this life you know to get your lucky breaks and um, I think in the other two games he's deserved to score but didn't but then at the weekend you know he, he goes and gets one so law of averages says you know you get you keep getting in there and you keep getting the chances that you're going to score in the end and um, and he did that and it was a really good not just Ryan's finish but the build up to it the, the football was was first class and we were really pleased with that and then finally from me Aaron Pierre and Tom Flan are going to be called up for their international yeah, um, yeah. obviously good for them but for yourself missing them for a couple of weeks at the end of the month extra, I guess well that's what happens when you have uh, international players so you know we can't we can't sort of grumble about that um, and when it, we need to wait and see because we, you never know whether a fixture is going to go ahead or not because I think Lincoln have got uh, international call-ups and their their games have been off in the build-up to these this block of games in March so where they've been off before, we could end at the fixture could be off anyway. So, you know, Aaron or or Tom might just be away on international duty, but nobody else has got a game. So we don't know the answer to that yet, but we've got a couple of games before that that we need to to focus on. But yeah, you know, congratulations to the pair of them for being called up. We're, we're delighted for them. Thank you, Gaffer. Pleasure.